Hi everyone, this is Mary from Athena's Biblioteca, and today I'm going to talk about some books I've been reading, or have read. <laughs> okay, so I kind of forgot that I was behind on my wrap-ups, so I didn't even think about doing a wrap-up until recently, and now I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to do a lot of them, hopefully, because <laughs> I need to get through them. The first book I'm going to talk to you about is Magic in You by Colleen, Colin, Holston, and Brooke Vittell. And it is kind of like a book you would give someone at a graduation, I feel like. I did give this book to someone for a graduation gift and I read it before I gave it to them because I'm that type of person. And it was so pretty like the art in it is beautiful but the message that it sends is also so cute it's like talking about how whatever you like the magic the whatever you need to accomplish your goals it's within inside yourself you just have to find it and let it loose or whatever and it's so cute and so i ended up giving it five stars the next book I read was Greek Gods by Rick Riordan, illustrated by John Rocco. And these, these books, like there's a Greek Heroes one too, and it's basically Percy Jackson telling the stories of the gods and heroes, and his commentary is everything and it's beautiful and they're so funny and they make me laugh and the art in them is beautiful. Let me look, besides the cover, because the cover art is also by your uncle. Let me find one that is amazing. All right, I found this one. And isn't it pretty? This is one of my favorite pictures in the whole thing. It's just cool, like it's Poseidon. And then the waves, if you can't tell, they're turning into horses because he created horses. I just, it's so cool. Anyways, oh, and I have all these sticky notes on it. And basically, that's every part I found funny. Made me laugh out loud. So, yeah. For the most part, that's what those are. So, besides the fact that it's Rick Riordan, it was easily five stars for me. The next book after that that I finished was... Fairy Dust and the Quest for the Egg by Gail Carson Levin. This is about Prilla, who is a new fairy to Neverland, trying to figure out what her talent is that she has. Then eventually she ends up on this quest with Vidya and Reyna to find an egg. That is the synopsis I'm going with. I'm trying not to spoil too much. And it's so cute and adorable and I loved it so much. The art, like this cover art, it's just as pretty on the inside. Look at that, isn't that pretty? It's just, there's just so much stuff in it, and it's so pretty, and Prilla is just so adorable, and when she's trying to con contemplate what her talent is, it's so sad, because no one knows what it is, and she does, it's so sad, and it's so adorable, and I love her a lot. I need to get the second one in the series, because it's a series, and I need them all, because... It was beautiful. After that, I read Fruits Basket 1 and 2 by Nakaya Natsuki Takaya. I mixed up their name, her name together, and I got this because the first, the first one was on sale on Amazon. And I got the second one on sale too because I was a, I love the anime, but I've heard that the manga goes further 
in the story, like, the anime got cut off around, like, the fourth ma- fourth collector's edition manga, anyway. And they're fantastic, and if you like the anime, you have to read the manga, because it's so much better. So I had, I read the first and the second one. After those, I picked up Arusha and the End of Time by Roshani Chokshi. Chokshi. For this, for this, when I picked it up, it was for the 24 and 48 hour readathon. If you haven't heard of it, I'll link it down below because it was so much fun when I did it. I just updated my Instagram. I didn't do anything on YouTube or whatever, but it was so much fun. And I read this in it. And this story is so fun and I loved it. It was the perfect starting point for Rick Presents, which is Rick Riordan Presents, which is the new, it's not semi-new, it's semi-new because there's only two books out in it so far. I'm pretty sure. I think there's only two out. And this one is about a girl named Arusha and it's based in Indian mythology. It was so good. It was so adorable. The character Mimi is so adorable. She's so cute and I'm so happy that she's one of the characters. I mean, I like Arusha, but Mimi is most definitely my favorite character. And these books also have, if you know Rick Riordan's books and you've read them, he usually has really funny titles on his chapter for each chapter, and these do too. It's beautiful. As beautiful as the cover, the insides match it. I gave it five stars. After that, I started and finished the Red Pyramid graphic novel by Rick Riordan for the 24 and 48 hour readathon. This was adapted by Orpheus Collar. It was really nice and I really liked this setup. Like I was trying to read The Red Pyramid and to catch up, like remember what had happened in it because I had never finished the series. Like I read The Red Pyramid and The Throne of Fire, like the actual books, not the graphic novels. And I never got to the Serpent Shadow and I kind of lost some of what had happened so I wanted to catch myself up by reading the graphic novel and it did a very good job. I really like it and I like the art in it. I'll show you one of my favorites. This page right here is so pretty. It's the goddess of the night nice sky and it's gorgeous. The sky goddess is beautiful. I ended up giving this five stars. I know, I give everything five stars because if I like it a lot, which I do on all of these, I like them a lot. I give them five stars. And after that, this is after the 24 or 40 hour readathon. I got, I purchased the third and fourth collector's editions of Fruit Basket and I read them and I loved them and they got even better because after the fourth one it kind of starts being stuff that I don't actually know happened because it is past the point of the anime. The fourth one I'm pretty sure is one that introduces one of my favorite characters from the anime and it's gorgeous beautiful i gave these both five stars because they deserve it a lot because they're great these are all the books that i'm going to wrap up for today keep on adventuring see ya